The Nerdgasm Talk podcast is brought to you by Spaces Philly. If you love podcasts, go to spacesphilly.com where you can check out Lulu and Pop, Both Sides, Turntables, Jump Thoughts, Super Tongue, and the Nerd Coalition's very own No Gimmicks Needed. Visit spacesphilly.com today. And now, feel the Nerdgasm. Uh, speaking of fighting games, a game that you love is getting a collector's edition. Hot diggity dog. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure you want to take the wheel on this. I do. First of all, I thought you liked it yourself. So, I do, but you, you're the one. You're the bigger Power Rangers fan. Huge, so. huge. Um, so one thing that Power Rangers is starting to do, which I like, because one thing when it came to news about Battle for the Grid is. It, they went off pattern a lot, and they left a lot of the community in the dark about when new content is coming. Now, once again, like I said, they they update the game every month. Mm-hmm. But then, but now I'm like, okay, so we all got when we, when we got the season pass, it said Lauren is coming out on October 6th, and we're like, damn, <laughs> October 6th. Because usually they got one one a month, and once again, pandemic, especially when I'm being in L.A., uh, shit shit's hard. Right. But and, I, and they t- what it do me off was I was like, so we gotta wait all, like damn near three months for one character, and then because when, when R.J. came out, everything came out with R.J. Right. Everything. You had, you had the Phantom Beast skin from for Daishi, and then you had the new story mode that came out for RJ. It was everything came. You had the new the, the new Megazord update. And I'm just like, so what the hell is coming out now? So before they said, well, look, we're starting back up the league August eighth, and I was like, okay, that's actually good news because I want to see more tournaments, right? Because uh, they they stopped. They had paused the league. Uh, up in, I think there was the beginning of May. No, no, I'm lying. They paused the league back in March or April. Oh, wow. Like, when if, when if, because the, their last one they had is the one I watched was in Atlanta. Mm. And and that's, and I think that's back in March when, 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 when the Rona first hit. So when they, I said, oh, they're bringing back the league. Thank God. Then it was just like, hey, remember when Limited Run had those little physical copies? Well, we're actually we, we, we teamed up and we're actually having a, a collector's edition come out. So the collector's edition is a physical copy for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. And it's kind of like having a re-release with um, the DLC included, only season one. Oh, okay. Only, only season one of the DLC is being uh, added along with... The different stages, different updates, different all that makes or stuff like that, whatever update they put in there for the time being. And then it said 16 characters. Now, here's the thing. We know there's more than that in the game. But right. when you well, if you add the, the one DLC, it's 15. So what I'm thinking is you get launched for free because it comes out the same day. Oh, okay. That could definitely yeah. be a possibility. Yeah, because it's 16. And it's like, oh, we'll throw in Lauren for free to go along with the collector collector's release because it's coming out the same day then you can get your pre-order get your whole tommy skin but this time if you pre-order the tommy skin you get two skins one you can give a code to a friend gotcha so i was like now you know me high about physical games mm-hmm. so i was like oh man that sounds good i kind of i think if i kind of want to get get a, get a physical copy i don't know uh more details coming later i don't know what uh, other like if it's supposed to come with like a power coin, like it did for the Nintendo Switch version back wow. when Limited Run was doing stuff like that. I'm not sure about all that, but I was I was excited to hear about the Collector's Edition because it now and now they got a date out, which gets me excited to now I know what to look for. Right, right. Because ain't nothing worse than just be like, okay, Lauren's coming out when, and we're just playing the game and just waiting and buying our time, and I'm checking their Twitter every fucking day, and I don't see nothing, and fine, but like, oh, here's Lauren. Now I know October sixth is then, and then Scorpina is supposed to be December sixth. Okay. And I'm hoping by next year we can actually have a kind of like a little bit of a control on the pandemic, and then we can work a little bit faster to to go back to kind of like a, a, a schedule. Right, right. To get no, things I, out of it. You ain't the only one hoping for that. For, <laughs> exactly. for everything, we're hoping for that. <laughs> 
So yeah, I, I, I'm I'm down for the I'm down for the collector's edition. I, I'm I'm down for uh, pre order to have have a have a physical copy. Like I said, if it comes with any type of Power Rangers merch, then I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. Right, right. I'm a whole sucker for that kind of stuff. I'm happy for the game. I'm glad it got this far. It's a really fun game to play. So and I'm that's, really what talking, that's what I was talking about earlier. This is a game that I don't need a battle for the grid too. Right, right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't, yeah. I don't need a, I don't need a sequel. I can see this game yes. update for like five years. Oh, yeah, this is there. I, I, I know what their plan is, but if they, if they want to have this plan, they have to change up their format. Okay. And what I mean by that is because I know that they want to make this the console version of Legacy Wars. Uh huh. Which, which is understandable. What would you say? That's understandable because that's what I kind of see it as. That's exactly. what I first saw it as when before it came out. Exactly. It's just supposed to be the, the fighting game of, of Legacy Wars. The only problem with that is Legacy Wars has the biggest fighting game roster in any fighting game, period. Really? Mo- mobile or non mobile? It How many has. The, say what? How many characters? God, it, it, for, for Legacy Wars, it has got to be over 80 some characters. Okay. I, I remember, I think it was. Smash Bros. got 75. Yeah. The only other game I can think of that will have more is, um, what's it called? Uh, Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi. Uh, yeah, or, two or you know, three. They or, have like 180 characters. Yeah, or, or, or Naruto, Old Ninja Stone 4. That was around 40, I think. I mean, 80. 80. That was around okay. 80 characters. But so. here's the thing. Every month, Legacy Wars... Is adding a new character every month. Oh, every single month. Every month for the, they have been adding, uh, new characters to the game. They they've added Yellow Wild Force Ranger. They added Astronomer. They've added add the Omega Ranger. Especially when the comic books still come out, and these new characters come out. They uh-huh. keep adding to the game because once again, it's easier. I'm not a game developer. Mobile. Yeah, to do it on but mobile. It's, than the but it's easier to, to update the mobile, but. I, I see Battle for the Great One become the new Legacy Wars. The only issue with that is they have to change their format if that's the case because each season can't be two Rangers and a villain. Right. Because when we have pandemics like this and they, and they, and they stretch out, you know, say so it's like, look, this is one year for one season where you, y'all usually average two, uh, two to three seasons one year. Now, what would be your plan? Would you, uh, what would you do? In my personal opinion? Yeah. Like, would you, you say, like, five characters per season? No. When you, when you deal with Power Rangers, it's, it's I, I will start releasing teams. Okay. And what I, what I mean by that is, okay, next season pass, let's do this. In the era, in that whole Disney era, the, the Power Rangers teams are becoming three. Ninja Storm was three, Jungle Fury was three, Beast Morphers now is three, the Omega Rangers is three. Like it, 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 it's a lot of three teams now. Okay. So what I would do is have three sets of three teams. That's nine characters right there. Okay. To knock some of these because it's a three on three game, and you don't want to put. Say if I if, if if I'm in there, I'm like, let me get Devin, who's the Red Beast Morpher Ranger, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, that's fine, but then I got, I don't have the blue or the yellow as his part of to back him up. And again, it is I, I'm, I'm choosing around. Then I'm like, okay, well, hopefully I gotta wait down the line to see if somebody else is gonna come out. And me personally, I, you you, you got to mix it up like that. You got to give people separate packs that may not be part of the season. Like in in my personal opinion, even though I don't like him, you 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 got to make a Tommy pack. Yep. Get the rest of his characters out the way. Cause people will buy it. Be like, hey, we are uh, coming November. We have the exclusive Tommy Oliver DLC pack. That's not part of season three. It's his own separate thing. You'll get the Red Zeal Ranger. You'll get um, the the Black Dino Ranger. Then you'll get the Red Turbo Skin for the Red Zeal Ranger. And then you'll get the White Ninjetti. Uh, um. Tommy plus the uh Falcon Zord or 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 the Red Battles or, or or something of that nature and we'll we're selling that pack for twenty dollars or nineteen ninety nine. 
people will buy that mm -hmm. because it's extra content for a game that they like. Nobody's going to want to buy content for a game that sucks. Right. And nobody's going to want to buy content for a game that has, you know, no lifeline or anything like that. You can do that <clears throat> and put it on the side. And people be like, sure, I'll that right there. <clears throat> excuse me. That right there. You get three characters, an extra three characters, a new Zor and a new skin, which is what you have in your season pack already. But you have it on the side because you're selling at something separate. Right. And I would, and then I, I would do that because right now, two two rangers and a villain, that that's all good. But if it, so let's say everything comes up better in the pandemic next year. If you do three season passes next year, season four, five, and six, that's that's six rangers and three villains, which throughout a year is pretty dope. But however. It's going to be a mixture of stuff, and then somebody's going to get left out to the point where it's just like, no disrespect, Billy, the Blue Ranger from Mighty Morphin, mm -hmm. is not going to sell well by himself. Right. You got to put him in a pack with something. Right. You got to make those kind of. There, there, there are there are so many characters to pick from, but you there's certain rangers like, if I'm trying to sell to you, Sway, there's certain rangers that that, that person you'd be like, uh, right. I don't. I, I I I would like to use it, use that ranger, cause to add to the game. But by itself, it don't sell that well. Right. So I, me personally, I will start bringing out teams. But like, okay, season four, we're going to do three sets of teams. Let's do Ninja Storm, let's do Beast Morphers, and let's say let's just do. I'm watching that Operation Overdrive because no, now Operation Overdrive. Excuse me, RPM because we have an RPM stage in the game. But we don't got no RPM Rangers. Oh, wow. It's, see what I'm saying? So why not put the RPM... The RPM is all up in the game. This even is, Dr. K is in the story mode. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. That's all RPM. And it's just like, okay, where the RPM... There's no representation for RPM. And I'm like, nobody... Or well, I mean, I don't. You you, you don't want to just give them the silver ranger because the silver and the gold go together. So you need both of them. I'm like, why not release the three starter rangers, which is the red, blue, and the, and the yellow. So it's a three three on three fighting game. So you have the RPM whole team right there. Right. Th that's how I do it. And, and since the, the comic books is, is is shooting up right now, Boom Studios and the Omega Rangers came out. You can have a, a team. Of the Omega Rangers, or or just release Zach and Trini and Billy as a as a Mighty Morphin three pack. Give Zach his Omega skin, Trini or her Omega skin, and Jason his Omega skin was already in the game. Y'all got the Omega Rangers right there. Yep. By the way, check out the um, video that I just posted out for skins that we would like to see. Yes. In, uh, yes. Exactly. Rangers. So. And, and and on the thumbnail is the Omega Ranger for uh, Jason. So yeah, yeah I, I really like that suit. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, I didn't even know there was a such thing. I was like, okay, that's hot. Yeah. So um, that's me. That's what I would do personally. And then that way, it, it by two or three years down the line, it can help them kind of almost catch up to Legacy Wars, but also keep you know the fan because one thing you don't want you don't want the, the game to, to like really like die down then it, get, it gets rejuvenated again and then dies down like you kind of want to keep a balance a little bit right and i think they need to start releasing something in between like like if they when when it's august it's like okay hey it's time for another update throw a skin in there right it don't have to be a character throw a skin throw a stage throw an extra chapter story. like i said throw something in there to keep people to come back in there t as we wait for Lauren to come out in October. See what I'm saying? Right. That's what I would do. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that game, uh, I don't know what other content they will add after the season, but I'm excited to know. I'm definitely excited to know.